Hey everyone, this is Change with Jake. Today I'll be doing a uh, layout update tour. Not a whole lot has changed except for the fact of the uh, these curves are now with 31 radius. Now I I try to keep all my rolling stock on the tracks, but I just ran out of space to put them on the tracks. Plus I have a couple shelves full right there but as we go I got lots plenty of vehicles and stuff always looking for another one but I got some new, new Athern semis right here I added a, that John Deere in the Kansas City uh, being in the Kansas City Southern box truck I have a little bit of a scene over here some construction with a hole. My new being rolling stock that I just recently got. All the rolling stock. Further out will be the uh, my test track for all the HO for the DC. I have the in scale on the inside. So I'll take you around. Got my Broadway Limited uh, water tower that functions. I just don't have it plugged in at the moment. I have the Fast and Furious house. And I thought it'd be perfect, but it was too small for uh, my HO layout. But it's too big for the in scale. side of the, the whole setup. The, this main table right here is 16 feet long and I believe it either goes to six or seven feet wide because we had originally four feet wide but to do more than one track we needed to span it out more so but with the 31 inch radius it was good for uh, this it just benefited the fact I have we had spent it further out that way when we did some more semis over there in the back side of the rolling stock all my covered hot most of my covered hoppers, especially my KCS. I made this makeshift tunnel. Not really massive or anything, it's just something to kind of hide. And it does benefit the fact that it makes the lap seem bigger with the, the tunnel blocking the view of the uh, the locomotives as it goes by and back there you see my storage for all my locos for the most part besides the big boy I have sitting over here it's sitting right there other than that everything that I have is either in those cabinets or it's at my workbench which I'm going to take you to just right now right now this is my makeshift workbench right now I have two locos sitting on the table the one on the right is the uh, SD70 Mac that BN had, number 9494. And it, right now I'm just waiting for the glue to dry up so I can put the shell back on and tighten everything down and be ready to go. It does have a Blunami decoder board in it, actually. It's got the new Soundtracks Blunami board in it. And to my left is my other Burlington Northern. This is a SD40-2. And it's in the Bicentennial paint scheme, 1876. It too has a Unami decoder in it, but right now, I, 
I just read the decoder, so right now it's just being sent in to be repaired or replaced. I have my toolbox right here, storage boxes, my minus the clutter. More tools over there, but here's the cases and stuff. If you want me to do a more detailed look of the uh, all my locos and stuff, if I hit a hundred likes, I will do a video on that. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to stay connected, hit the bell. It'd be nice if you subscribe if you enjoy my content and stay connected. Enjoy the rest of your day.